my original interest in ayahuasca uh, was around uh, consciousness science. I'm very interested in what is the mind, and, and when I teach about this, I say to my students, like, here's the question. Is the, is the mind inside the brain, or is the brain inside the mind? And that's how we start off our discussion. And, um, and so the, I think there's more evidence that actually the brain is inside the mind, and, and, so, and quantum physics actually would predict that. And so I recently was in Spain at the uh, World Ayahuasca Conference, and I met, I believe he was Argentinian scientist, who measured the magnetic field in an ayahuasca cer ceremonial circle before, during, and after the ceremony, and found that the, the, there's an increase in the magnetic field as measured by uh, Tesla, which is the measurement of magnetic field strength, that happened during the ceremony and lasted, I believe it was for 20 minutes after people disperse. And I just think the, the group effect of ayahuasca therapy is um, something that we, we're, we must, we're desperate to explore it because it, it is the way that we become truly knowledgeable that we're all connected. You know, we all say, oh, we're all connected. But we don't really think that. We don't feel that, except when you're in ayahuasca circle, you really do feel that. And if that's the true nature of reality, then I think all of us need to wake up to that, and then there probably wouldn't be any war anymore. And if, and if there weren't war, then there probably wouldn't be so much human cruelty. And if there weren't so much human cruelty, and which comes basically from fear and wanting and suffering, then maybe there would really be peace on Earth. And we, maybe we could even go to other planets and seed ourselves. And I just think psychedelic medicine is so important.